Hoi hoi, it's Lewis D again, and for this video, I'm going to be doing the Moody Book Tag. Hoorah! So, I was tagged by Roll Reads. I'm going to put down the link of his video down below. And I left a comment in one of his other videos, and he said, well, I'd like to tag you in the Moody Book Tag. So, that's what I'm doing right now, and let us begin! No. I treat my book hauls as like um, to be read or want to read piles. I think want to read is another term that can be used about books wherein we have the desire to read them and not exactly expecting them to be read, if that makes any sense. But anyway, going back, I treat my book hauls as like my TBRs or want to read piles. Uh, there's not like an exact like span like it's not like my um, book haul has like sort of these have to be read in um, 2021 or monthly because you know I'm a super slow reader so it's more of like these are the books that I want to read and I guess in terms of like setting what I would like to read for the month basically the books that Ray and I agree for Blu-ray book club I commit myself to reading these books you know for our live discussions so yeah now, thank you super much for all the support that you've been giving for Blu-ray Book Club, whether it's in my channel or Ray's channel. So, yeah, and we hope that you continually support us, whether for Blu-ray or outside Blu-ray. Mmm, sometimes. Being sad leads me to reading slumps. Hmm, a mixture of all. Basically, I read to enjoy life. I believe in the thing called Love by Maureen Gu. Now I have a reading vlog of this book. And also it was Blu-ray Book Club's uh, Book of the Month for January of 2021. Now, in my reading vlog, going back to that, there was a scene that <laughs> made me laugh out loud. Like, it was hilarious. <laughs> I still recall that scene very well. <laughs> There were some books that, you know, moved me that I would say, um, you know, uh, what you call this, like, it's heartfelt, like, hard-hitting, you know, it usually happens with contemporaries, you know, I've mentioned it in some of my other videos, like, some of the, uh, YA contemporaries that I love it have to be More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, and all the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Now these books like are hard hitting and they really move me. Um, but they didn't make me well, I think more happy than not almost made me cry, or at least got me to that part where I was a little teary-eyed um, with all the right places. It, it just really moved me so much. Um, but there's another book, it's actually a fantasy book and it's a finale in a series or a trilogy, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I'm talking about The Savage Graves by Breedus Payne. Now, this is the third book in the Dark Divine trilogy. Now, this is the final one, and this is the one that I enjoy the most. And actually, it's a great thing because usually, in my case, the finales of the books are the ones that I am loving the most. So I'm hoping that that momentum continues. If not, like, if I would love all of those in the series equal. Like, I'd like to have a great uh, reading experience about endings. Any book that had narratives that didn't resonate, resonate, resonate! <laughs> in terms of lighting, sunny day. In terms of the temperature, cloudy day. Not really, but I listen to my favorite songs when I read.
I take a few breaks, um, you know, I either, you know, listen to some music or watch videos before I proceed with uh, or to reading the next book. Now, usually when I finish a book late at night, what I would do is that I would read another book, you know, the following day, kind of like, you know, keeping up with my Goodreads stats. I'm going to be tagging two of my um, bookish buddies, of course, my co-host in Blu-ray Book Club, Ray Reads PH, and someone who's been, you know, revving up her videos lately, Weena Wonders, OG Booktuber. But if you want to do this tag, and even if I didn't tag you, well, you know the drill. Hum bam, consider yourself tag then. So I hope you folks like this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you've made it this far, leave a musical note emoji because I talked about, you know, listening to music when I read. And don't forget to click that subscribe button down there and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there as well to keep yourselves posted about my videos. And I'll also be putting down the links and handles of my social media accounts. So feel free to follow me there and check me out as well. As always, thank you super much for watching. Always be thankful and unleash the reader in you. Bye y'all.